Okay, before we go to the Hooli drill, I want to explain about the safety bags. These are bags that our club has put together. They should be in every canoe that gets launched. I don't care if it's wreck, yeah, it novice, experienced people, you're staying in the harbor, you're going outside, these should be carried at all times. The steersman should check and make sure there's a safety bag in your canoe. Well, I also went through checking the rigging previously. Steersman, that's something you should be doing as well. The safety bags. What I want to do before we do the holy drill, real quickly just explain what we carry in each safety bag. And they should be checked by all the crew members. Okay? So, this is the bag. I'll show you how it rolls up when we get done. This is the main bag inside of it. A lot of the items that shouldn't get wet should be in a second. These are all waterproof bags. When you roll them up and you clip them, they not only float, but that's what seals them. A lot of the bags I'm finding are wet and VHF radios don't like to get wet. So in the safety bags, we have a second bag. A lot of the items are also double Ziploc baggy. So some of the items that should be and a minimum should be in all the bags. As far as first aid, we have a CPR mask and we have gloves. Gloves also you can use if someone happens to cut themselves. I know I did the other night in the canoe, not a problem, but if you're dealing with a, a club member that is bleeding. We have some elastic bandages. I think we're gonna be putting in some more uh, first aid items basically to stop bleeding, okay? We have a VHF radio. We have backup batteries for the VHF radio, also double bagged, okay? We wanna keep these at the beginning of the year. This year I did it. Next year, if there's a new safety person, all the batteries should be changed. These were changed, this is a VHF radio. It's also in a waterproof bag, okay? Every bag does not necessarily have a VHF radio. Our club at this point doesn't have a radio in every bag. They are your connection to land. They're your connection to other boats. Channel 16, you turn it on, channel 16, it's marked red. That's an international distress frequency. What you wanna do if you are offshore and you do have a problem, you need to communicate. Number one, you need to have some idea of your location, whether it's a crew member having a GPS for some of your workouts, that can give you longitude and latitude that will tell anyone in the boating community exactly where you are. If you don't, some type of physical description. We think we're about five miles, we're slightly north of the pier, um, we just passed the jetty and we're heading north. Uh, if you're in a pea soup fog, you need to be aware of the swell direction and also the wind. They can tell you, they can give you an idea of your heading and approximately which way land is. Back to the VHF, it's your communication. What you want to do, channel 16 is distress, you press it, you talk. This is a uh, six-man outrigger canoe. We've capsized, we can't right the boat, we need help. You release it and you wait for a response. So this is your communication. It is explained in the safety brochure of the club. So that's the VHF radio. The rest of the bag should contain signaling uh, items. We have three flares here, two flares here. We have a distress whistle, a distress horn, an air horn. We have a regular flashlight, also useful if you're coming in on workouts at night to work your way around the yard. Safety bags should have a flashlight and they also have a strobe, which if you're coming in at dusk or you need to signal distress, they can even be seen flashing in the daylight. So that's pretty much a rundown. You should know what's in a safety bag. You should also be aware that every time you get in a canoe, there's five other people someone needs to take charge and make sure there's a safety bag on that canoe. So the safety bags, once all the items are in them, they're really useless if they're full of water. So the items are in this bag. 
basically rolls a couple times, goes around the rigging, and snaps. Once it's rolled, it's sealed from water. It also has air in it, and it floats. When we get into the Hooli drill, the canoe's upside down. If for some reason you need this safety bag, it's real simple, go underwater. You know it's gonna be on the front and rear Yaku. Undo it, keep it rolled up, come on out. So basically that's the, uh, the club safety bags.